Um, another choice that's very nice often is Satanic. Okay. It allows you to, um, you know, not have to run from MKB carriers because like this sniper gets MKB. Like either you're going on him or he's gonna kill you, right, in the fights. If you have Satanic, suddenly that's not an issue. Right, Satanic during focus fire means you're healing like a million HP per second, you cannot really die. Yeah, it's kind of like um, DP's siphon. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Alright, let's see. Chikira Hoodwink. Those are generally supports that you want to jump on top of. But potentially something mobile. Wind Ranger is alright. Um, DP is fine. Oh, okay, it's fine. DP is still fine. Dawnbreaker, nice. Should let the carry, hopefully the carry picks for now. Sound like I'm good. Does he really want to? Well, I mean, you could just go for the DP, because we, yeah. I just hope they don't randomly get, oh, nice. That's a really good matchup, Tiny. Tiny Marcin is double strength melee heroes. Easy siphon targets. Yeah, that worked out by accident. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't know, man. I don't trust this. Uh, Joe Butta. I think he'd let me random. Like that's. A... Yep. All right, just some quick maths. I want to see at three k HP how much the siphon does. Because Tiny easily reaches three k HP. Probably one hundred and forty. 180. 180 actually. 180. Yeah. So one siphon is a thousand damage. Easy peasy. Magical. Easy game. Um how let's see how necessary is Yules. I don't think Yules is particularly necessary here. It's obviously a strong item. But I don't think you need to rush it. It's good against Marcy. Again, top of you. Prepare for battle. Against Tiny, I'll recommend the. Uh, so you go. Uh, level two Crypt Swarm at level three, obviously, and you can start with it. But then at levels four and five. I would go Siphon. Alright, level 2 Crypt Swarm is enough to last it with, but earlier points in Siphon will allow you to bully the Tiny better and sustain against this harass potentially. You, you think it's a Tiny mid? Uh, tiny mid and offlane Marcy seems most likely, yeah. Look how they flee before us. I mean, who else would it be? Hoodwink, but he wouldn't pick so early though. Well, if it's Marcy, the yeah. same thing applies pretty much. That's true. Oh, what everyone wants to do. Okay. I just have a lot of The battle begins. Uh, put in the mantle before you start last hitting. Yeah, when you get a chance. Get that plus three damage. Yep, tiny mid. So just rush bottle now, don't buy talisman or anything else.
Um, by the way, I would definitely favor you guys here in the late game, so no need to be stressed. I have triple melee core against DP Disruptor. Send out the bottle. You can steal his bounty here. Three minutes. Just careful with the courier. Yeah, put it to the head of tower. You might miss like one creep at most. But Thank you, my beauties. Your middle tower is under attack. I think he's gonna steal mine right now. Yeah, I went for yours, but on his way back, you can harass him with Siphon. The water runes are spawning as well. You're fine, just don't draw tower aggro. So yeah, level 5, I will take level 3 Siphon. What the runes coming up. Again, take this quickly and then go fight them at the other one. With the strange creep, that's your level 5. As long as he doesn't break the siphon with the stalls, it's fine. You can just siphon him again and fight him. Remember, you're healing a lot. You could actually run him down here, I guess. Ah, okay, never mind. You missed that one. Yeah, I missed it. It's fine. But you can see that you're winning the trades. Yeah. So, yeah, for, uh, I would farm a little bit till you have money for talisman and boots. So, you get both. Oh shit! Uphill. Yeah, I do that to myself. I do that to myself way too often. Don't really want to get tossed into the tower. Yeah, just harass. No need to overdo it. Okay, good. Swarm. Potentially with ulti, you could try to dive him. He does have really high armor though, because of his ulti, so it's not that strong, keep it in mind. I will only try it if you get a good rune, actually. Because this... Mm, actually, Hoodwink has no mana, cannot TP. Chikiro has mana. You have a catapult. Yeah, you could try it with the next wave, with your boots now. You could try to run them down. Just make sure you have the creeps also shoving in. Yeah. Nuke, nuke the wave. Alright, yeah, that's fine. Okay, okay, he's deeping out, that's fine. You gotta get a lot of damage from the tower now. If he glyphs as well, just run for the... to rune, check the rune, check the rune. Okay, nice. 
And yeah, you could deal some more damage. You could tank tower a little bit with the portals. It's also effective on creeps uh, because it's percentage based. And it's definitely least effective on the range creep <laughs> because it has the least HP. <laughs> okay, care now. You're fine. Get your uh, bounty. Um, upgrade to magic wand. Maybe a clarity or two. Yori has 1500 health, so. It would be nice if the team gave an observer. But... Yeah, you have four charges, you can use it quite freely. Just siphon him again. You don't have to run, you don't have to run. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll do the quick action math okay. here. I'll do the math for you as you're playing. Oh no. On how much you're actually healing. Just siphon him and fight him. Uh, okay. I'll tell you this much. He, there is no way he kills you with right clicks during a siphon. It's doing 100 DPS right now. Healing 100 per second. Oh, you ate the branch so you don't have the... Okay. Yeah, I, that was a, just a reflex. Uh, check the room. Be careful he doesn't combo you. Again, if you manage to get the link going, he cannot combo you. You're literally safer with you know siphon going and attacking the tower than out of the tower but no siphon. Uh, okay, illusion room might break it though. Be careful. Ah, uh, Jakiro's here as well. Just get a new Siphon on both. Yeah. And yeah, you're fine. Okay, you're fine. I mean, the Illusion Siphon was maybe a bit overkill, but you can see the, the power of the spell. Yeah, that kept you alive here. That was the real one. I was... Don't go yeah. base, pop clarity, get the bounty room. You can stack the small camp on the way. I want to get some neutral items going. Good time to get the uh, rain drop, maybe one or two clarities more. So yeah, maybe you can still go use after all, just so because you're used to it and it's gonna let you cancel TPs at least. Um, if not use, the other approach would be travels rush. Up to you. Oh, I'll try the travels. <coughs> Tower's almost dead, you don't need to ult for this. Yeah, you can ulti. Now... Take one more wave. Ah, that's range creep. Slow your last hit. Take one more wave, check the action rune, and with the action rune you want to rotate top. Don't fight the tiny now, it's kind of pointless, unless it chases you for the rune. Okay, sweet. Crypt Swarm. Pop in this, just run top. If they had a ward, they might have seen you coming. With this point and silence, you might actually be able to kill the Slark even. If your team is set up. But remember, you're there for the tower, not the Slark kill, so. See if you can, like, silence them out of Invis. Ogre needs to be in position, though. Ogre is, like, doing who knows what. It was after his thing. It doesn't matter, just go for the tower. Force his ulti at least. Oh, you can chase him now. He's dead, he's dead, nice. Alright, get the tower. You might want to TP back to mid after this. Portal up a little bit. So you don't. So your mid tower doesn't take any damage. Yeah, just TP mid. Very nice. I guess you could run at him. Yeah. <laughs> nice, he forced the TP again. Yeah. 
get the clarity Pretty going. Maybe tier 2, who knows. But you don't really care. So now, you took the tier 1 mid, took the tier 1 top. Now is the time to kind of chill a little bit. You're gonna start farming more. This where the travels will be quite useful, because you can, you know, frequently TP base to refill. Or run to base, TP out, etc. I'll stand on the high ground here, it's, it's a little bit... Make me a little bit anxious because you're on the low ground and not getting the vision. Level the Crypt Swarm, don't take talent. Yeah, keep shoving, extra rune in 10 seconds. I mean, you, you could have Crypt Swarm this way. What? Okay, they just gave it the rune. Don't waste it, it's fine, just uh. You could run. Wait, you did after? Does it still take exorcism down quicker or no? Rune top. Well, the the arcane rune lasts, I believe, forty seconds or thirty. I'm not sure. Oh, trinket! Nice. Get the trinket. Get the get the travels. That's huge. Ask the disruptor to give you the trinket. Okay, get arcane rune. Just pop siphons and kill them. Siphon everybody. Siphon is more important than Simon, so... Wand, magic wand, magic wand, magic wand! Ah, shit. If you use the wand, you live. 20 charges there. Yeah, big play one. Also, you silence before siphoning, and that's... First of all, silence is much slower to be cast. Again, prioritize the siphons. If you get the siphons out, you're not gonna fucking die, alright? Like, who cares about silence? Anyway, no big deal. Uh, you're gonna travel top when you spawn. Did you get the trinket? No, he's he's not about that life. But but, but did you ask him for it? Or is it really not? I did, yeah. Okay, well get the ocean heart then. There's an ocean heart. Yeah. I mean, now you're gonna farm a while. Um, you will need BKB at some point, but first item BKB kind of sucks. You could go Yules into BKB, or you could go Ags into BKB. Out of way. I would get the Staff of Wizardry first. Uh, magic Resistance, definitely a good game for that. Can't catch this guy, like you know, unless there's a glimpse, but no. Dude, I would, I would ping his trinkets. Like, that's really annoying that he doesn't want to give it. Yeah, he told me out loud his ulti though. That was his excuse. Well, tell him it works on your ulti too. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, okay. <laughs> whatever. Fuck, fuck yeah, it. I know. This is a little spiral so, out of control. Though. So, whatever. Fuck it. Yeah, let's all get distracted. Remember, you're here just to uh, to farm. You don't don't hit the range creep more than once if you're gonna creep swarm. Like this point. This. Don't fight. Don't fight. You're not here to fight. Level one ulti. You're not gonna take a tower. Um. Blessings yeah, you can just farm some camps. Wait for the tier two neutrals. Wait for your staff wizardry. You need level 12 before you, like, it's pointless to ulti now when you're close to 12. You could honestly travel bottom. Like, I know TP to safe lane is the forbidden move, but you have travels, and for some reason everybody is stacked up here right now, so. Get the creep to travel bottom. Yeah. You, and when you're in this farming mode and you have full bottle, like, you could, you have travels, you could be a bit more liberal with the. Crypt Swarms. Like one per wave, one per camp is absolutely fine. The, a general rule is, you know, don't drop below 60-70% mana. Right? As long as you're above that, you can spam all you want. So yeah, use your bottle also. Okay, level 2 ulti. Not gonna use it for this tower, of course. We're using that for Roche, ideally. So you go here just to force somebody to rotate. I would stand a little bit more to the right, because people are gonna come from the left, potentially. 
Don't have to stand that close to the tower either. I was trying to see in here for the TP. You don't need to see, like, so... <laughs> The goal is to not get caught here, right? To force some people without, without actually getting caught. Okay, go back, go back, go back. There you go. Now you can travel mid. Now you take one wave mid and maybe connect with your team top. Maybe go for Roche. See, you forced three heroes bottom, actually. That's awesome. But if you're standing where you wanted to stand, you would fucking die for it. So, yeah. <laughs> Defeat the purpose, yeah. If your team comes, you can Roche. If they don't... Don't, don't like force it too hard. You need Dawnbreaker to tank. If there's no Dawnbreaker, it's not gonna happen. Okay, okay, team team is warding. Looks like maybe it's happening. Maybe, maybe, no. If not, you can also try to get the tier 2 now. I mean, it, it's, it is level 2 ulti. Yeah, it looks like Dawnbreaker wants to hit the tier 2. Just go for the tier 2 then. You have decent vision for that too. Just pop okay. it. Yeah, pop it, pop it. Yeah. Just hit the tower. Stand. Don't stand right there. Stand to the left. Stand like where you're least likely to get jumped. Yeah. Like here. Yeah. Not right next to the patch of trees. That's you know you don't have any vision at. Okay. Awesome. If I were you, you could you could join the fight. I guess. Just don't risk anything. Oh, silence the sword. Nice. Siphons galore. Siphon the tiny. Very good. Magic wand. Magic wand. Easy, all right. You know, I was gonna tell you to TP out after the tower, but actually ended up being a very good fight, so. But the point is that the fight is just a bonus, right? The important thing is you got the tier two. Actual rune bottom, real yeah. rune bottom. You could walk bottom here. This time, not, we're not gonna TP there, just walk. Save your TP in case something happens. And now we're close to Ags, right? So you don't want to really fight. Close to Ags, cool, the cooldown, full farming mode. You can put the two components on the courier and send it to the secret shop. And then you're most likely going to travel to the secret shop to finish it. Maybe to the triangle. You take this wave, pop the DD. Like, it's it's a farming DD, you know, you're Death Prophet. It's not like you need DD. In the, you don't right-click in the fights anyway. Take one more wave, then TP triangle, and that should be about enough gold to finish the eggs. Or actually TP mid, and then triangle. Again, don't stand right next to the... You want to stand on the far end of the lanes, always. To the edge of the map, that's where it's safe. People are not gonna come from outside of the map, right? They're gonna come from the center. You can TP mid, yeah. Take one more wave here. Alright, run to the triangle, finish the eggs. Okay, they're actually looking to group top. If you if you have the eggs, you could you can take the small camp and that should be your eggs. Oh shit, the core almost there. Mm, okay, it looks like fuck it. I mean none of your team was interested in defending that. So, oh use the van brace, nice. Just take the long long way around to go to top lane, like from behind the tower, yeah. Keep it on strength, yep. Yeah. You could toggle to int sometimes, but uh, it's best to have it on strength. And this combined with your magic resist talent is pretty dope. I guess if it's on int, you might be one-shotting the range creeps though, which is kind of nice. So if you could toggle it, that would be best, but... So your team's gonna do this random fight now. You don't want to be there because it's a horrible spot to fight in. Uh, I'll take the the cooldown. Yeah, I'll take cool the cooldown. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're one shotting. Actually, you're one shotting it now anyway because you have eggs. Remember, far end of the lane. Just gotta make sure you don't die now, because you're pretty strong. If you do get caught... Uh, okay, you just siphon him. You could TP out when this... Well, not anymore, because his bounce is gonna be up again. Siphon him again, kill him. Siphon. Siphon, 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 siphon! Magic wand! I thought I, I, thought I was siphoning. Alright, that was a panic moment. So... 
Okay, first of all, you can TP in between the bounces, right? But not uh, okay. not if you wait. The cooldown is 8 seconds, duration is 3 seconds. Second, if you just keep the Siphons going, again, he will die before you. Right, you just forgot to use more than one, so that's why I killed you. And does Q, his Q take off the Siphon? No, it doesn't. Nothing takes off the Siphon. Okay. Only distance. Uh, his Q does take off the Silence, though, which you... Kind of did, you know, while he was still dark pacting. So you want to be a bit more patient with the silence. Your middle tower is under attack. Your bottom tower is under attack. Careful, a lot of enemies missing. Let your creeps go first. Yeah, hide a little bit. Far in the lane, exactly. Uh, yeah, you still would rather be top. Okay, they're all mid actually. Just keep pushing, take another wave or two. But you could you could TP for this fight. Even though it's reacting, it's a good spot. Team's already owning. You can Roche after this. Yeah, two cores die, just tell your team to group up and Roche. Oh, if you can run down the tiny, it'll be nice, but nah, fuck it, fuck it, just go Roche. Bottle the Dawnbreaker. Let's go. Cool. Luna should come. Ulti, ulti. Here, uh, you need ulti for the Roche. Like. You can tank it a little bit. Instead of him. Tank the Roche. Just stand closer. Yeah. Uh. It's not the best on you because EXO cooldown, but I would still take it because fuck this Luna, you know, don't want to come. Just take the Aegis, yeah. Nice. And yeah, now back to farming for at least two minutes because your ult's cooldown. Now this next item is pretty, pretty key here. Basically the choices are BKB or Shiva's, I would say. They have like, I would say, decent mix of physical and magical. Um, yeah, you like the Shivas more. It's a bit more aggressive, yeah. So yeah, like, there's a region you can bottle. Don't get baited into Yolo pushing. I mean, you can damage a little bit, but it's kind of pointless because you have no ulti. Don't fight. You have no ulti. You can throw some spells, but that's it. Remember to use the siphons. Alright. Your first siphon came out like, you know, way after the fight started, so that's. You still yeah, need to prioritize that spell before. Yeah. Hit the tower, just tank the tower. You have uh, You have region room, just tank the tower and pop region. You can uh, send out the Shiva's recipe and send it to pick up the plate mail as well. The enemy's middle tower. Travel top. Now you just want to control the map. Three minutes on Aegis, you could do at least one high ground push with uh, Aegis and level 3 ulti potentially. And the best way, the best place to do that is top lane. Uh, I will now sell the raindrop. Just drop it on the ground, get your query to sell it. I mean, it's only like, you know, 100 gold, but it's not nothing. And put the plate now instead of bottle, let's say. Maybe drink the bottle first. Yeah, that doesn't matter, fuck it. You are solo now, though, careful. You kind of need your team to just, just walk away, just walk away. Throw a siphon if he keeps chasing. It's gonna make him think twice. Okay, he's gonna die now. Just, just fight him, fight him. He's dead. What the fuck? 
siphon it. No, <laughs> what the fuck was that? All right. I don't think he thought twice. Yeah. Maybe he thought once. That was the. Honestly, if you wanna do a baller move, just TP top right now and pop ulti. Like, Marcy's bottom and Sark is dead. And your team is kinda close, so. You have Aegis, so, you know, fuck it. Just just make sure you're hitting the tower with the ulti. Backdoor should be off, yeah. You could tank it. Okay, okay, Glyph Force, chill a little bit. You still have time. You could pop the wand. Remember, you're mostly looking to damage the tower, you can siphon some, some guys that run at you. There's a free Marcy and Tiny kill next to you. Okay, the silence really should have been on them, but... Uh, okay, whatever, fuck it, it's fine. Ulti's out, run, run, run. Uh, you forced Glyph and you took the tower to half HP. So, that's good, didn't even lose Aegis. Back to farming, finish the Shivas, get the uh, tier 3 item. Don't fight, don't fight, don't fight. You have no ulti, you're not fighting, you're close to Shiva's. You can stack Ancients, you can stack Ancients and farm them, you can take the bounty room. Double Ancient Camp plus... Uh, plus bounty room should give you enough money. Remember your age is gonna pop, you're gonna get full mana, so just spam all your shit. Uh, well, except the Siphons, because they have long cooldown. But spam crypts are off the round. Yeah. Also use the oh yeah, uh, yeah you can carry the blast rig. It's pretty decent. You can use the silence as well because it also applies the little ghosts. Oh really? It's a little bit of damage. Yeah. Uh, oh maybe maybe use Paladin's sword. Actually maybe Luna wants it. it Give you spell life steal, which is kind of dope. Um. That's up to you. I guess with Shivas and the Blast Rig, you're taking like zero physical damage. And now you get BKB and you're immortal. I would go HP talent here. You don't really need extra chase. Yeah, 34 armor. Silence, nice. I hate how they made the silence uh, projectile. Okay, now we just, you know, march down top lane and there's pretty much nothing they can do. Le. Try not to stack up too much with teammates, although it shouldn't really matter. I'll just, yeah, pop ulti when the creep wave reaches Luna. Because remember, it takes a little while for the ghosts to, to charge up. Yeah. Just make sure they're hitting the tower. You want to stand on the far end if possible, yeah, show a little, you're very tanky, just get siphons, shivas, magic wand, siphons, passive shivas, oh shit, magic wand, magic wand, try to siphon the tiny, you're gonna heal a lot, siphon the slark, very good, very good, ah, uh, Luna stole all the last hits, whatever, and you're back to full. Easy peasy. Should be able to go mid here. Can maybe bottle some teammates. Dawnbreaker. Yeah, Luna's playing like shit, but uh, Dawnbreaker did a really good job, to be honest. <coughs> yeah, he's talking a lot too. He's the one like gathering the team. Ah, okay. A ceremonial robe. That shouldn't be you though. Carrying it. it should be someone else. Yeah, I forgot to mention, you, it's usually better to just have, you know, no incoming chat. Uh, actual on bottom, in this. It, it's pretty quiet. If there's... Oh, you just you just disable it forever, all the time? I mean, I, I recommend it especially while doing coaching because it's, you know, hard enough to play and listen to me, right? If you listen, the team as well, it gets tough. Shivas? And you can run at people. You have image rune as well. 
I'll just chase the tiny with siphons. He can't get away. <laughs> There's no creep wave coming, guys. You gotta pay attention to the minimap. I don't know what everybody's waiting for, but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm with them. We talked about the last game too. The enemy's middle. Time. Yeah, just pop all team finish. Little ladies. Remember about <laughs> 300 range for maximum DPS. You have the birds cosmetic, I guess. Yeah. Um. Actually, I don't know if I talked about this, but it's very key. Like, uh, you aim your ulti by right clicking, uh, but you don't need to actually right click. Like. The right click doesn't need to connect. Shivas, 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 Shivas. Yeah. Forgetting items occasionally, but it's okay. Their sisters are birds indeed. <laughs> you suck, Dave. Zulul. First time, chat. First time chat, insta ban. Bullshit, switch with Kito. Well, yeah, he definitely listens more than Kito, that's for sure. Alright, GG's. So, what did you think of this game? It's good. You stopped me from doing a few key terrible plays. Right, when you wanted to fight with ulti on cooldown? Yeah, yeah, there's twice you stopped me from dying uh, with that. I think you also saw the power of the siphon, right? Like you got tossed into the tower like five times and you never died to it. Yeah, and I still wasn't using it nearly as often or... Yeah, I, I mean, well, it was okay, it was okay. There was like one fight where you kind of forgot about it and also that Stark situation. But that's just like a panic moment, it happens. Um, what did you think of the build? I liked it. I, it was It was good. I didn't. I didn't mind not having um, Yules. Like, yeah. In that situation. Any. So any like mid hero with some kind of AOE nuke is gonna be a good hero to rush travels on, right? Because it allows you to farm so much, right? It gives you effectively a lot of mana. It allows you to shove waves. It. Uh, yeah, I got way more farm than than I was used to that game. Like, I didn't even start off doing all that well mid. Like, I missed quite a few last hits, I think. So I was, like, a decent amount behind where I even should be. And then I just, like, got the travels and took off. Yeah. If you, if you look at uh, 10 minutes, 11 minutes, you were actually about even with the tiny. He was even, like, 100 gold ahead. Um, despite the whole, like, zoning situation. But, yeah, then you got the tower, you got the travels, and you started just... And you kind of took off, and you were even top net worth at one point. Um, yeah, your Luna definitely wasn't very good and did a pretty trash super glass cannon build. Mom Manta into Daedalus, like, like he cherry picked all the items that give zero HP. Well, Manta gives 10 strength, but yeah, it's like, it's a pretty shitty build, but. Uh, it's like the, I think that's the most common Luna build down here. Really? Well. Yeah, I think because there was a game where OG lost in TI, and then the casters talked too much about this build, and it's now forever in North American culture. Wait, they lost to this build or what? Yeah, I think so. I don't think it was because of it, but yeah, uh -huh. it was a. Yeah. No, I mean this build can work if you have like, if you're on a team and you know there's people backing up the Luna. And making sure that 
you know, she doesn't die with healing. Oh yeah, I stuff. wasn't defending. I was just saying that's why. That's <laughs> yeah, why yeah. everyone does that. Like, yeah, just fair just enough. Stuck yeah. in the head forever. Just like gyro to Fiesel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, still, I mean, people see the pros that it's... Yeah, if you saw it on true side, it still has to be a flick. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, yeah, honestly, I mean, I think your mechanics are fine. Uh, it's really just the... Uh, you gotta know when to basically chill because, you know, you're, you're working on a big item, right? You... Or you're have a big cooldown a big spell on cooldown and then it's just not the time to force stuff and holding the uh the ulti to level 12 when i was level 11 like that was a good call i, I think i would have used it before and then regretted it yeah it's just that's like one of the biggest power specs in the game i would say like the difference between level level two and level three you don't notice it as much like it's okay it's obviously stronger but it's like whatevs but from 8 to 16 is just crazy. Because, like, level 1 OT, you know, kind of tickles the towers, and level 2 OT shreds them, basically. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, it's it's twice as strong, so. Um, and yeah, the, the max siphon build helps you bully the lane. Um. So I, I do. I did see some like some strange habits with the farming that you could kind of iron out, right? Like what I mentioned with the creep swarm, you have to be aware. You know, it, it either one shots the range creep or it leaves it with one hit. But you know, considering that it leaves it with one hit, you should never be pre-hitting two or three times and then creep swarming anyway. Or also, what happened is like. You'll be sitting there right clicking the way for like five seconds and like half the creeps you kill with right clicks and then you throw a creep swarm on the others, right? That's just like a complete waste of time, right? Because you know, you would have saved six right clicks if you threw the spell earlier. So what do you what do you do to take down a wave? Like with Queen of Paint I mean not with Queen uh with Death Prophet. You you just use Crypt Swarm right away and then last hit the rest? Or do you like pre so the the pre standard is range? standard is you pre hit the ranged once if it's not if you're not one shotting it um and then you look generally your creeps are all focusing one creep right so in the meantime you're hitting another melee and then usually they both drop below 300 at around the same time right it's gonna take you like two three hits on the melee to, to bring it below 300 by that time, another creep will be below 300 because your creeps were focusing it. Then you creep swarm, okay. and then you finish the other two. Right? Okay. Something like that. Um, there are the, you know, exceptional cases. It happened once this game where you... If you're, like, really snowballing or if all the enemies are dead, etc. Like, you, you rush ahead, and then you, like, nuke the wave... Let it chase you for three seconds. You nuke it again to finish it. Uh, but that's yeah. You cannot always do that. Um, this is again where the axe helps a lot because the axe essentially means that one creep swarm always kills a range creep. But that's a really big deal because it always like it, it shaves off a decent amount of time for like one right click from every single wave. Well, more than one actually because it obviously works on the melees too. But that's just something to be a little bit more conscious of. Um, so you're farming effectively. And... Yeah, the other is the rule with the mana. Right, like... As long as you're staying above about 70%, that's like a general thing. 70% mana for most heroes means you can like... You know, you have mana for ulti and to cast every other spell like at least twice. Right? Combined with the magic wand, etc. During the fight, it should generally be enough for a fight. So, if you're sitting at ninety percent and you have a full bottle, like 
obviously you should be using your spells to farm. Maybe I confused it because when we're doing the replay, I was like, you know, I'll save the Crypt Storm here, right click instead. Here. Like, that's the case if... Yeah. Um, if you don't have travels, first of all, so you're not gonna, like, you don't want to walk base. Like, going to base and TPing out, it's not really an option without travels. It's something you really, really want to avoid. Because you're losing yeah, the time, more, you're losing the cooldown, you're more losing... More clarity to help, too. Yeah. I was, uh, yeah. So, if it so happens, like, let's say a fight just happened, okay? You have zero mana region on you, and you're at like 20% mana. That's the moment where, if you're not going to go base, you want to send out some mana region, and while waiting, instead of just standing still, you can farm some camps with right clicks only, for example, right? So you're farming slower on purpose because you're waiting for your mana to regen in the meantime. Right. So, long story short, you know, don't drop below 70% while farming. Don't drop below 70%, you know, also without any mana regen on you already. Uh, so that way you're always ready to, to fight you know, to force something, you're not like... Because if you're sitting at zero mana, you might as well be dead. Right? Like, you're not on the map. You can't do anything. Yeah. You, you And you can be like, oh, I can TP base to refill. Okay, but then you're still off the map. Because if you TP base, you're not at the fight. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, just did like the replay and, watch where it was like two, three minutes of base walking. Yeah. And if it happens that you drop to low mana... After a fight, that's okay, but then, like I mentioned, uh, you can farm a little bit with right clicks only and ferry out a couple clarities, maybe even ma mangles and clarities, and that way, you know, make sure you get full again, or, you know, go look, look for some runes, etc. Yeah, it's always keeping out the pressure. Yeah, that allows you to always stay on the map and yeah, apply pressure, exactly. Yeah, not a very strong item, but we didn't get to see here. Or like, let's say an alternative build you could go for sometimes is Eternal Shroud. Right, this gives you a lot of spell lifesteal, which is very strong on DP with the ulti. And the Siphon ends up, you know, healing you more than it's doing damage for, which is pretty crazy. And then you compare that with Kaya Sanj. Alright, this is a pretty good choice for games where, you know, BKB is not great. Uh, potentially against something like Bad Rider, maybe. Against uh, Enigma. Right, when they have like a lot of these BKB piercing ultis. Yeah. Maybe Pudge. Maybe... Who else? Uh, maybe Doom. These kinds of heroes. Because, uh, you know, the status resistance protects you from the disables. The magic resistance protects you from the damage. And they complement each other really well because also... Eternal Shroud gives Spell Lifesteal and Kaya Sanj amplifies Spell Lifesteal. That makes sense. Uh, Kai's hand in general is just a very, very strong item right now. Yeah. Alright, you want to try another game? We have like 30 minutes left. Uh, yeah, 